Hello everyone, it's Stephanie Manley. Guess what? I'm still a fountain pen freak. Hello everyone, I'm Stephanie Manley. And guess what? I'm still a fountain pen freak, but today I'm going to show you my purchases from a fountain pen day. Uh, Goulet had, I'd like to say I bought something on sale, but I didn't. And um, I just kind of wanted to share with you. I made a couple of purchases that day. Um, nothing too crazy. So I got this great uh, Lamy Vista gift set. They're offered from Goulet. So you actually get a Lamy Vista, which I guess is probably like their Safari or their All Star. I'm not sure what the difference. One's plastic, that would be the Safari, right? And the All Star is metal. So this pen is plastic and What's good about this is it actually comes with the converter, but it only comes in a fine nib. Um, I went ahead and put some ink in here. Um, I'll show you that in a second. But at this whole deal, and then it actually came with all of these cartridges. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You got eight cartridges of ink. Let me tell you what type of ink you got in here. You got a green, a blue, black, a violet, the turquoise, which is really gorgeous, the Lamy blue, and uh, red, and just flat out black. So these are the cartridges, and if you wanted to, uh, you could probably reuse these by filling them with ink yourself with a syringe, um, that would work. So these are handy for when you travel and uh, you don't wanna carry ink. But this was, um, again, when I first started getting into fountain pens, I really wanted one of these and I don't know what stopped me from getting one. So I went ahead and filled it up with some ink and this ink is the ink I bought for Fountain Pen Day because Goulet had 10% off on ink that day. It's actually an ink that I wanted to get at the Dallas Pen Show, but I was unable to grab any. Now this is Noodler's Tchaikovsky. Um, this is a slightly more expensive ink and it is fluorescent and unfortunately I can't find my fluorescent flashlight right now but um, it, it has a really nice kind of royal purple so this is cardstock and this is Tomoe River paper so there is a little bit of shading in this ink I find that cardstock really is just good for kind of giving you an idea of the color that it is and this is the Noodler's Tchaikovsky on Tomoe River paper I like to do things on Tomoe River paper because you should actually see the properties of the inks. So just kind of a nice basic kind of royal purple, but again, it's fluorescent. So should you have a black light, you should have something great. All right, so I got that. And then I also got a couple of syringes. I've really taken to filling my pens with a syringe. Um, these are great. Uh, just pop this on, twist it on, and then you fill it from here. You just kind of suck up the ink here. And then when you have like a cartridge, or I'm sorry, or a converter, then you just fill it. Oh, this pen looks almost empty. Um, I have no idea what color was in there or I'd show you how to do it. Uh, you just fill it, just take it and squirt it in there. And it's a little bit neater. And I think another advantage is that you get a full fill off of these converters. But you know, I like swapping out my ink colors all the time anyway. This is a Franklin Kristoff uh, stub that I got. Um, I, I can't recall if I got this at the Dallas Pen Show or if I got it in New Orleans um, in my June trip. I really don't remember. But Franklin Kristoff, this has a Mike Matsuyama nib on it. Um, but it's also a stub. So I usually use uh, this to address envelopes with because it looks nice. But getting back to my Fountain Day purchases, again, love these uh, syringes. Great way to um, fill up pens very, very neatly. So we'll put that aside. And my other final two purchases um, was a couple of Lloydstrom bullet journals. I go through these about every six months. I keep one for work and one for personal. The work one, I just go through, you know, I don't even know if I get so six months out of these. 
I don't tend to do bullet journals in the style that um, it's just a checkoff list. I do take a lot of notes in mine as well. So we've got that right there. Um, so I got these and I'll just show you quickly uh, this ink. Um, this is a Lamy Vista, right? Lamy Vista. And you can see this does not look like a fine, um, nib to me at all. Now, this only comes in a fine nib or through the set it did. You can put other Lamy uh, nibs on it all day long. Noodlers and it's Tchaikovsky. But you can see it writes really nicely, very, very smooth. Um, for me personally, I have a mixed thought on Lamy's uh, of these. Sometimes I, I just don't feel I get great nibs. Sometimes I get a nib that's a little scratchy. Um, but I love using these pens to like do glitter inks through or something that could potentially clog up the pen just because they're so easy to take apart and clean. Um, I don't mind using them for that. So a nice clip here, it'll stay put. I, I believe in Germany, they use kids use these as their pens. So they're a great pen. So if you're thinking about one of these, um, really love that. This kit does come out, it seems to be like an annual kit that you get from Lamy. And I think it was $37.50 um, for eight, eight cartridges, the pen and the converter. So these converters are usually like five bucks. I'm gonna guess that these inks, you pay at least $5 on all of these cartridges. Um, these colors are really nice. Lamy ink performs really, really well. So you get the pen, the converter, and the ink for, I think it's 37 or 32.95. I don't really remember, but hey, it's a great set. It comes out once a year, um, or I've seen them typically once a year. So this year I went ahead and picked it up. And finally, I think this is one of Noodler's new inks, and this is the Tchaikovsky. They were out of it at the Dallas Pen Show. Um, so very happy to pick up this. I did pick up, I uh, believe, Hunter, which was also um, glowed in the dark, so that's very exciting. And again, these are the samples, and of course the two bullet journals. So that's how I celebrated Fountain Pen Day. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know, hey, do you have any inks that fluoresce? or um, any great pen sets that you feel compelled to buy, or, you know, hey, just um, let me know how you celebrated your fountain pen day. I'd love to hear. And again, thanks so much for watching, and we'll chat soon. Bye-bye.